everybody, Tina here with Two Tricks and a Cricut, and I wanted to show you a layout that I'm doing, and I'm going to be using uh, my everyday paper doll dress-up cartridge, and I'm going to put together a paper doll on camera for you guys and let you see how um, to do a paper doll that is looking sideways. So I'm going to be using this really cute baseball guy right here and if you can see he is looking um, to the side and I had never done a paper doll with a face that um, wasn't just pointed straight straight forward so I used some accessories off this cartridge and I just wanted to show you guys um, how to use one of these paper dolls I um, both of my paper doll cartridges have a little cheat sheet right in my box and it's just numbered and then it just tells me where the characters are. So like my baseball guy is the fourth row over and the third row down is my baseball guy. So this just helps me be able to get... Um, the button quicker because I tend to just use this cartridge with my Cricut without my Gypsy. So if anybody's interested in having these cheat sheets you can email me and I'll send them to you. I just did them up in Excel. So the first thing I did was I used um, one of the accessories, accessory buttons and I did this cute little um, baseball glove and I just chalked it up and I did some stitching because these accessories tend to be on this cartridge they tend to be one dimensional so there's no um, layers with them so um, I've already this is just a 12 by 12 piece of pattern paper and then this is just a like four inch piece and then a three inch piece and I trimmed it down leaving a little bit on each side. And then this is just like a one inch strip. It might even be half an inch. Yeah, it's just half an inch uh, strip at the top and it goes all the way from um, either side. So I have my photos already mat matted and then I cut out this um, glove and this was just a family baseball game we went to for um, just one of the kids in our family and then this I didn't have a this cartridge has a baseball on it but I just didn't like it and so I just made my own baseball so I just cut out a round circle and then I just did um, the stitching, I just used a red pen and I just did some crisscross stitch, a stitch pattern. So for my baseball glove, I used the real dial size on this cartridge. If you're not familiar with these cartridges, these are great cartridges to have because they have so many um, accessories so but the thing is is that all the accessories are proportionate to your doll so I when I cut my doll out from my other side I cut it out at five inches so all of these accessories would be proportionate to a size five doll so what you would want to do is when I did this baseball glove I did it at, um, I used the real dial size on it <laughs> And um, I think I cut it out at, I want to say four inches. That way it would be, it wouldn't be five inches proportionate to a paper doll that was five inches. So I'm just going to glue these elements down really quick.
So as as you can see, I um, tucked the baseball under the two photo mats. And then I just have my journaling, and I did my journaling on um, vellum on the computer, and you guys know I always do that. But I just wanted to point out, if you don't do journaling on the computer or you don't like to do that or you don't have a way to do that I just wanted to point out that you can always get at you know at your local scrapbook store or Michaels or whatever they have these great journaling this is what I used to do I would just get these journaling blocks and you can just write your journaling on your um, block and then just put it on your page you don't have to do it on the computer I just that's what I do I just tend, that's what I tend to like. So my journaling is going to go right here. And that is the first side. So here's my second side, and this is where my paper doll is going to be, but I'm going to add my pictures first. So I just have my pictures down, and um, I have a paper doll to go on this side, and I'm going to show you guys how I put that together. So here's all my pieces to my paper doll. I wanted doll. to show you putting this paper doll together and what I did. And I don't necessarily know if this is the, the right way to do a paper doll facing this way, but this is what I did. So I had never done one of them looking this way, so I cut my paper doll out at five inches and I used the blackout feature so when you use a blackout feature you don't get the cuts for the eyes or the mouth or anything you just get it blacked out so then I used the um, tab accessory on the paper doll body and it cut out a face looking this way so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take a pencil and I've lined his head up and as you can see his other ear is kind of right here where his mouth would be and I'm just going to trace that and then I'm just going to take a pair of scissors and cut it. Sorry if I'm off camera. I'm trying to zoom in so you guys can see. Okay. So now I'm going to glue my head that is facing the left. I'm going to glue it on to the body. Now, I don't really care about this eye being cut out like that because I always add a googly eye anyways to my stuff. So now we're going to dress them. Um, I always add a little bit of chalk to my uh, paper dolls. Chalk or ink or whatever, just like you would another accessory. Okay, 
So we'll do his hair first. And this, because he's looking sideways, his hair and his hat, they're going to be kind of off to the side instead of straight up and down. So then he has little shorts. And he's got a little baseball shirt. And then I'm going to take a white gel pen. And... Add some lines and stuff here for his clothes. Have these mini buttons. That I'm going to add to him. I'm actually going to use my zip dry glue. Last thing not to forget is his baseball hat. Same thing. And my little paper doll is ready. So let's put it onto the scrapbook page. So my little paper doll is going to go right here. is that side so the only thing that I have left to do and I don't even know if I'll do this or not is I haven't done a title yet on here and I don't know if I'll do one or not so here is my baseball layout with my paper doll 
and I hope you guys enjoyed this layout and I'll have a picture under this post and uh, thanks for coming by the blog today.